Well, 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 well. Player movement didn't kill the NBA now, did it, all you fear mongers. This morning, I've got the Clippers, the Lakers, the Jazz, the Bucks, the Celtics, the Sixers, the Nuggets, the Blazers, the Rockets, and the Warriors. Ten loaded, legitimate NBA playoff teams. And I think about eight to nine of those could win the NBA championship. Maybe all ten. I love Denver. All the fear mongers killing the NBA super teams. All go, 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 go. Nah, didn't work. Leagues never had more parity. Seven of the last 10 years, a new champion. And I've got no idea who's winning next year. A salary cap league. They can't all go to the same place. B the market corrected itself. Toronto won with one star. C I do think LeBron was the soul of the NBA for about a decade. He's no longer the Pied Piper. People don't follow his every move. Folks, we live in a country now where everybody is in such a rush to race to Twitter and social media to win the argument. We never let anything bake. Player movement. Let it bake for a few years. Yes, LeBron comes in, player empowerment. You had the Miami Big Three. And Katie goes to the Warriors, kind of copies him. And you got the Warrior dynasty. But then players started looking around going, well, Miami was lucky to win a second title in four years. Probably outside of Ray Allen. Shot should have won one. And a KD thing, it ended quickly. And it was everybody was ripping KD and ripping LeBron. And it baked a little bit. And then Toronto with one star won. And everybody was like, yeah, you just team up with one other good guy, and you're, you don't need to really go with the super team. You can just team up with one star and then a bunch of good players, and Toronto corrected the market, and it it was allowed to bake a little. This is what we do now. Colin Kaepernick signs with Nike. Let's run to Twitter, get my phone. And Nike stock is going down, and the company's dead, and nobody likes it. And, uh, uh, four days later, the Nike stock is up. Let stuff bake. Politics, sports, business, everybody rushes to their phone. They got to win the argument and everything comes out a hot opinion and like a microwave. The first time you touch the tea, the coffee, whatever you put in the microwave, it's a little hot. Ooh, ye, let it cool down a little bit. Folks, look at sports in America today. You want to know who has a competitive balance problem? You want to know who's got a dynasty problem? It's not stars and big cities. It's college football. Hey, Joy, guess who will play for the national title again this year? Hmm. When it might be, maybe, is it Clemson and Alabama? That well, I, 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 did, they, did they play last year? The year before, the year before, the year before, the year before. Rural America. It's just like American wealth today. We're all scared that New York and L.A. and Silicon Valley has all the money. The leading economy in America this morning, the fastest growing economy in America today is Salt Lake City. A lot of people making money in small towns, too. Listen. Look around the NBA. Let it bake a little bit. There's no competitive balance issue. We had player mobility, and guys lined up. The big three in Boston won once. Miami won twice. Thanks to Ray Allen, should have won once. Two years into the Warriors situation, it was already restless. That's blown up. And this morning, I got players everywhere. I got two good players, three good players in Utah and Denver and Portland. By the way, Portland's got three centers. They'll probably make a huge deal at the trading deadline to get better. Golden State may trade D'Angelo Russell, get another good play that fits back. We got all sorts of movement. This league has always been controlled for the record by trades. That's how Paul George got to the Clippers, which allowed Kawhi to then choose the Clippers, right? Kawhi told the Clippers, you got to get another star. So an 81-year-old executive engineered a trade, and then Kawhi said, okay, now come. So as much as we get concerned about free agent, it's trade engineered this whole puppy. We're all good. The NBA is fine. Just like the rest of us in America, we should have a right to be mobile, change coasts, change bosses, change brands, change companies. NBA players do There is no competitive balance issue. Last 10 years, NBA has seven different champions. And you go ahead and bet on the Clippers and Lakers. I have no idea who's winning the NBA title next year. Let me shift to this. 
a lot of people are saying this morning, whoo-wee, Kawhi Leonard diss LeBron. LeBron is a very unique American athlete. I would put him in the Muhammad Ali class. We've seen Megan Rapino, although most of us didn't know her that well a month ago. But let's just say Megan Rapino, Muhammad Ali, LeBron James. They are athletes. They're disruptors. They're outspoken. They're political. They're dissenters. And they are incredibly rare. Most women soccer stars just want to play soccer. <laughs> they don't want the blowback. Most NBA guys don't want to be more than an athlete. They like being an athlete. And Muhammad Ali, <laughs> he was not typical. When you look at LeBron, Megan Rapino, when you look at Muhammad Ali, these are unique athletes in America. Look at who's dominating sports today. Brooks Kepka doesn't talk. Mike Trout doesn't talk. Christian Pulisic doesn't talk. Kawhi Leonard doesn't talk. Tom Brady, Russell Wilson, mostly avoid politics. In fact, Michael Jordan and Tiger Woods are the two biggest stars in the last probably 30 years in sports. I mean, literally, they left their sport and the ratings died. Michael Jordan and Tiger got ripped because they didn't want anything to do with politics. Michael Jordan today gets ripped. Republicans buy shoes. Tiger gets ripped. Why won't you talk about social change? Because I don't want to. Politics are messy. But LeBron's different. LeBron's worldview is, I'm going to do more than just play basketball. I'm going to be a disruptor. I'm going to change player mobility. Kawhi Leonard didn't choose today to diss LeBron. Kawhi Leonard's worldview just isn't the same as LeBron's. As KD said, LeBron comes to your team. It's a little bit of a circus. By the way, I've gone to the circus. I like the circus. But the circus is noise and it's narratives and it's stories and it's media and it's press. And Kevin Durant said, it's a circus. Well, not many players actually want to go play with Ringling Brothers. The reality is Kawhi, according to stories this morning, didn't choose the Lakers for two reasons. He was concerned about the super team label probably because he watched Durant and LeBron get ripped, and he also didn't like the Lakers' dysfunction, which LeBron has added to. When you add superstar, disruptor, political, dissenter, Muhammad Ali, Megan Rapino, and LeBron are very comfortable in that space. LeBron's brand is more than an athlete. But... In my lifetime, most great superstars would rather just be a great athlete, and that's okay, too. LeBron's worldview is the stuff we'll write about, but it's rare, and it always has been. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.